Another vlog, another day, another trip. And this time we're doing a little road trip across Australia. Isn't that right, Janine? Yeah. But before we get on with today, I need to catch up with what happened yesterday. Yesterday, I filmed with two young lads called Nathan and Harrison, who are hashtag United fan subscribers, basically overall legends. And uh, I got burned, which is kind of annoying. And then in the evening, we went to somewhere called St Kilda. us to present day where we are currently in somewhere called S wait, wait where are we again and now it brings us to the present day and we are currently in somewhere called Phillip Island we've just driven uh, two and a half hours to get here so uh, let's make sure this drive was worth it so the first place we're going is a koala conservation uh, place where uh, we're gonna see some koala birds in real life. Also, I'm gonna have to wear a hat guys. Yesterday, you know I just said uh, I burned a little. I don't know if you can see up there. There's like Like scab bubble things on my head. It's just like I've genuinely burned. Did you know koalas approximately sleep for 20 hours a day? Just like Janine. So boys and girls, we're out here in the wild. I don't know what's going on right now. We've been looking for some koalas. <gasps> One's being spotted. Oh my god. A wild koala, sleeping as part of his 20 hours of sleep a day. He has been sported. Oh my god, here we observe a wild crocodile. Oh my god, where is Crocodile Dundee? Can you see the croc? Right there, if you look carefully, there is the croc. Keep staring, keep staring and you'll be able to see the croc. You wanna, uh, you wanna go for a drink sometime? This one's crazy, this one's absolutely crazy. He's trying to get, oh, he just sat on a screw. That went into, oh, oh, where you go, look at him, mate. He's like, uh, he's like Ninja Warrior. He's on one, who's gonna win the race? Oh, oh, he's just hiding from us, okay. Please focus, please focus, please focus, please focus. Boys and girls, it's my first sighting of a kangaroo. I've never seen a kangaroo before. And they're not meant. They're not meant to have. To. <gasps> There's another one here. Oh my god! Wait, where is it? There it is. They're not. I swear. I swear they weren't meant to have kangaroos here. Go on, all you Australians watching this video right now. Go on, make fun of me for getting confused between a wallaby and a kangaroo. I'm waiting for it. Come on. And I can already hear your keyboards typing in the comments down below. Theo, that's not a kangaroo. That's a wallaby. I know, boys and girls. Okay. We've left the koala bear conservation and we're heading to somewhere which is like an immersive Antarctic uh, viewing thing. But en route, on Phillip Island, we have, uh, as you can see in my sunnies, I don't know if you can see it, but guys, we, we came across this viewing platform. Wow, just wow, I can't stress enough. If you ever get the opportunity and you can travel during your life, maybe in between college and university or whatnot, travel, see the world. We're doing exchanges, Janine is doing, yeah. This place is just, Insane. So from incredible views and the harsh Australia sun into the Arctic, here we go. Whoa! Whoa! The winds are too strong! <laughs> Sat down, having dinner. On the beach, I've gone for classic fish and chips. Janine's got a, um, I mean, it's grilled fish. You've just got a grilled fish. I mean, check out that, and then you got that. We are here at the Penguin Parade, where essentially all the penguins come in from a hard day's work and come say hello to all of us who are eating popcorn. Tomorrow. Welcome back to the road trip. We've driven about an hour and 15 minutes out of Melbourne to somewhere called, where are we? The Chocolatier. Yara Valley. Yara Valley. And in particular, we're, uh, we've gone to a Chocolatier, first of all, because who doesn't like chocolate? So essentially, this is like Willy Wonka's chocolate factory that you can see people making the chocolate. There's chocolate everywhere. So we've sat down for a spot of lunch with this as the view. For pudding, we've got 
this brownie, which is dark chocolate brownie with milk and white chocolate chips inside. Vanilla ice cream, hot chocolate sauce to melt over it. Oh my word. On a scale of one, two, insane. How insane? Insane. Oh my god, you know when a brownie's gooey inside, you know when it's gonna... This is the 34 degree harsh Australian sun garden bush tucker challenge. Flies add to the challenge. One of those something pretty insane. 36 degrees outside, it's so hot. If I touch the steering wheel, I'll burn myself. One problem about being this far out in the wilderness is that we are trying to enjoy a nice peaceful afternoon in these gardens and the bloody flies are just, they're not letting us be. Cinematic vineyard shot. <laughs> Made it back to the city and in particular we're now on Janine's uh, apartment's rooftop barbecue area. Over there we've got a little barbecue thing set up going on. Uh, I'm gonna have a beef burger and some chicken skewers and Janine's having Fish! De Marabosure. Good morning! Should I say good afternoon? Uh, you join us after a three hour drive to the Great Ocean Road of Australia. Uh, there's lots and lots of sights to see down here. First up for us is going to be the uh, Twelve Apostles which is going to be exciting. It's not as sunny or as hot as we would like it to be. It's actually quite windy from what it looks like outside. But today is a bit of sightseeing and uh, lots and lots of driving. Stunning. Absolutely bloody stunning. I thoroughly enjoy that 12 Apostles. Now we picked up a little treat at the gift shop okay we've got these things they're called pods with twix treat it like trying australian candy you know what they're nice but i've been let down do you ever have those moments in your life when you think you're jack sparrow in parts of the caribbean because right now boys and girls i've got that moment in my life I'm a real explorer now. Call me David Baker Attenborough, walking across the bridges of Helm's Deep. Look, this is basically Helm's Deep. I mean, I've mixed Lord of the Rings in with uh, past Caribbean, but this is a little bit crazy from us. Janine, whatever you do, don't slip. I mean, I didn't get a level 10 in climbing for nothing. We've just traversed all the way across here. We're now in the cave, and now we're going up into the dark, misty, and gloomy cave. Are you scared? Are you scared? No, I'm all right. This tide is coming in, so we could get lost in here. We could get trapped for eternity, Janine. You do realise that, yes? We could die. <laughs> We've in been here. caving before. Yeah, this is real caving, isn't it? Oh, stop my I don't know why, but Janine asked me to go ahead and get some photos of her. And now she's by herself, completely struggling, and doesn't know what to do. The exploring duo have made it from a cave behind us back into civilization, and now it is time. <laughs> to uh, not get our feet wet, but it's time to move on to the next attraction. It's very windy at the next one, we're now at the arch. Um, there you go guys, that's what the arch looks like. On to the next one. And the next place is even windier. This time, this one is called London Bridge. Uh, I mean, we're not in the UK, Janine, but apparently there, there was a little thing that went over there and made it look like London Bridge. Do you agree? Let me know in the comments. And the final viewing platform, performer, arena, location we are visiting is the Grotto. And yes, the Grotto hasn't really been a good start for us, Janine. Just fell over, she slipped. Look, look at that poorly elbow. Show everyone. Uh, have look a little. At the mark that it's made. Yeah, it's look, oh, look at there, around there. You've even ripped your jacket around there. Oh, Janine, what were you thinking? You, uh, you fell over on one of the easiest climbs you could ever do. It was slippery. But uh, when we're not falling over and slipping on ourselves, this is what the grotto looks like. Very nice. Just went down there. Take a few Instagrams. And if you're not following me on Instagram, follow me at Theobaker underscore oh, and you could follow Janine as well but mainly me and that is the last attraction we are seeing on the Great Ocean Road and that is actually pretty much going to be the end of our road trip we're about to head home three hour drive home but I know what you're thinking right now Theo what is the car you've been driving all weekend we want to see it we want to see what car you had and boys and girls wait until you see this and three hours later I can finally show you my brand new Toyota Corolla Ascent and if it focuses you might be able to see it. Here it is. I actually have really enjoyed using this car this weekend. It has done nothing 
but surprise me. And uh, I'll tell you what you get with it, okay? So if we go inside, this is it by the way, it's a nice silver looking thing. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a five door hatchback, which I, I do rate to be fair, even when I had my BMW. That wasn't five door, that was only three doors. So this is a step up if you do say so. One thing you get with it is a free Janine. It comes free with all, with all uh, Toyota Corollas. Also a little convenience that comes with it, okay? Not only does it have a free Janine, it's also got cruise control. Which I actually bloody love. In here, we got a little pocket where you can stash all your all your goodies, all your all your little Twix things, and your and your uh, Twix sunglasses. It is also an automatic, which is an absolute lifesaver, especially when you're on a three-hour journey. So uh, changing gears on a three-hour journey is not really for me. It also comes fully equipped with aircon and USB functionality, so we can listen to all the great songs we know and love.